this month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month. Hey, Corey Chapman is our Star Student of the Month. Corey is an eighth grader at Munford Middle School. Corey, good morning. Good morning. Good to have you with us today. First of all, tell us a little bit about your family, Corey. Um, I live with my mom. You know, she's like a big inspiration on everything I mm -hmm. do, you know. Where's and, your mom work? Uh, children's Health, Children's Rehab. She okay. helps with kids with disabilities. Okay. So, yeah. You got brothers and sisters? Uh, I have a sister right there. She's one. Her name's Brielle. She's a little bitty girl, ain't she? <laughs> yes, sir. You help take care of her? Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, now, you're in eighth grade at Munford Middle School. What's uh, special about Munford Middle? Um, it's just the, you know, people that I'm around, you know, they're, like, really funny. And they're actually, like, good people to get around because, you know, I just get along with anybody, yeah. you know, so. Now, you used yeah. to go to Town Lake City School, right? Yes, sir. I used to go there yeah. for a little while, you know, about sixth grade. Yeah. Yeah, moving there from Mumford, it was different, but, you know, both, I get along with both well, so. You know. Now, you look like a football player. You play football? <laughs> yes, sir. I did. I was a right guard and a DN. But pretty, pretty good? I do my part, honestly. What, 210 or something like that? Uh, 220, actually. <laughs> so uh, is that what you want to do as you go through high school, play football? Yes, sir. Okay. And so how did your team do this past year? Um, well, actually, it was the first middle school team to win in the last, like, four years. Way to go. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, in the eighth grade at Munford Middle School, <clears throat> so... What's some of the courses you're studying this year? Uh, we're, we're, something that we got introduced to this year would be uh, career tech. And, uh, What's that about? It basically prepares you, it opens up different uh, careers that you could take. It opens up a variety of careers you could take throughout your life in mm -hmm. high school. That you, they let you start early in high school, so that's what career tech is. So what's something already that's kind of stuck with you with that class um honestly the uh the construction stuff mm -hmm. like you know welding and stuff like that so yeah so what else are you studying this year um just you know regular stuff like english math you know all that but besides career tech yeah that's you know you make good grades yes sir, i'm my ab on the road okay i guess you're proud of that aren't you Yes, sir. You have to work hard on it? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Who's some of your friends at school? Uh, you know, I, have, I have, you know, a lot now, of friends. I ain't got all morning now, just a few of them. <laughs> yes, sir. I would say um, DeAsia Davis, yeah. uh, Lauren Brewster, and Amir Elston. Those, okay. you know. What about teachers? Top three. Miss Thomas. Mm -hmm. I love Miss Thomas. Yeah. So, what is a challenge for you uh, in school? Mm. If there is any. I would say the hardest subject for me would be math, but challenge-wise, it's just, you know, sometimes just staying focused. But mm -hmm. I try, yeah. you know. Yeah. Now, you like music? Yes, sir. I, I, I make music myself sometimes. What do you mean, make music yourself? Like I, like, sing on beats. You play an instrument? No, sir. I like uh, record music okay. with my voice. Yeah, okay. So. All right. Like, what's some of the stuff you like to do? Uh, what style of music? Hip-hop. Okay. R&B, right. hip-hop. Yeah, all right. Uh, you think I could do hip-hop? Probably could. <laughs> <laughs> you think you could be a good teacher, Corey? <laughs> oh, uh, he loves football. Uh, he is an A.B. honor roll student. Uh, and, uh, you know, there's some people in your life that mean a lot to you. Uh, and we may have mentioned a couple of those, but who are some others that mean a lot to you in life? I would say my, um, my grandparents and my mama. All right. Honestly. Tell me about your grandparents. My grandparents, I... You kind of light up when you mention them? Yeah, because I got a I, I got couple, you know, uh, I was talking with my granny, Trisha. Uh, 
you know, like we we it's like my best friend, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is. You know, we even though she's my grandma, we just had like siblings, honestly. Yeah. So yeah. And then Are they able to come watch you play ball? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. They don't yell at the referees or nothing, do they? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who else? Oh, uh, I would say my granddad, my granddad D. He, you know, he he like a father figure for me, basically. Yeah. You know, so yeah. What, what what is it like to have older generation impacting your life? It actually, you carry on some of the stuff they do. So you know, we we. Like, he be telling me about past stories and all that, you know. So, basically, it's just his style and mine. We just kind of put them together yeah. like that. Uh, you know, we just finished up uh, Black History Month in February and uh, honored Dr. King in January. Uh, what does it mean to you being a, a black American? Honestly, you know, in some cases, it feel like, you know, it's a lot on our Back. But honestly, like, you know, it's just, you gotta, I mean, it's, it's not, you know, I feel great being a black American, honestly. It's, it's been doing better from the past few years, yeah. from the past years, to even back then, you know, like Martin Luther King, but I'm proud to be a black American. Uh, and, and, let's talk a little football, okay? Who's your favorite football player? Uh, I mean, do you like football or you just like playing? I do. It? I like I like both of them. Uh, it. I don't even know how to answer that. It's a lot. It, okay. It, okay. Uh, you have a, a favorite team? Uh, no, nah, but I did want Eagles to win. Super okay. Bowl. I did. Well, didn't quite make it this year, right? <laughs> so you ever think about what you want to do when you grow up? I was, I wanted to play professional football, honestly. Now, that's great, and I applaud you for that, and I hope you do well. But just in case, because a very small percentage of young men uh, make it in the professional levels, what have you got on the back burner for life? I would say acting. Acting? Okay. Sir. What about construction? Mm -hmm. That'll be that'll be our third option, but yeah. like I was just saying, from career tech, that's what you know. Yeah. So that's that interest me. So, uh, what what role would you play as an actor? You think? I would like to play a villain in an actor. Oh, the bad guy. <laughs> well, he's a good guy on this show, ladies and gentlemen. His name is Corey Chapman. He's an eighth grader at Munford Middle School and uh, has been going there for several years now. And uh, he plays football and makes music, hip hop style music. And uh, do you play games on the computers and stuff? Oh, I have a PS5. I play that. Oh, yeah? I normally just play Madden. Yes. Yeah. You pretty good at that? Yes, sir. <laughs> Corey, thank you for coming today. No problem. Thank you for inviting me. I hope you have a fantastic day. Keep up the good work. A and B honor roll student. He's looking right here in this camera, ladies and gentlemen. His name is Corey Chapman, eighth grader at Munford Middle School, and Corey's our star student of the month.